Okay, so today what we're going to be working on is helping Riley not jump up on people when they come through the door, especially his owner, and learning, teaching him how to have uh, self-control and emotional regulation. So what we're going to be doing is just essentially teaching him that his behavior is going to affect my behavior. So we're going to use over here, there's a blue bowl on the ground. And what we're going to do is if he is standing in front of that bowl, so he's standing kind of where I am, we're not going to open the door more. We're going to wait for him to back up and stand behind the door. Okay? And so what's going to happen, and you'll see this in a moment because we'll video the process, but I'm going to start to open the door. If he comes rushing forward, I close the door. And over and over and over again until he is able to count uh, contain himself, stand calmly, and stand kind of back in the kitchen. In the beginning, this is going to take a lot of repetitions and a lot of patience to help him learn. But remember, he's also breaking a habit that he's built up for probably several years. So we need to help him kind of learn a new habit and what's going to help you open the door. In the past, he probably thinks jumping up is going to help you open the door. Even though we know that's not why you open the door, he might think that he's causing that by jumping up and sticking with that old pattern and behavior, but now we're gonna teach him a new one. So I'm just gonna kind of demo this, and remember you wanna do this consistently every time you come through a doorway to teach him what his new pattern will be. Even better is if we can get him to the point where he will have him start sitting, so once we walk through the doorway, we can ask him to sit, and we can either have a treat on us to reward him, or we can um, just pet him to tell him he's good. Once we're past this threshold, kind of past where the blue bowl is or this little corner right here, he can follow us around, walk around with us. Um, if he's excitable and kind of doing one of those things where his front feet are coming up a little bit, don't pet him at that time. Wait for him to calm down enough that he is nice and calm and stable and then you pet him and tell him he's a good boy. So I'm going to get, I'm going to start practicing. So just keep the camera rolling. Okay. far enough to walk all the way up. Oh, there we go. Close the door. So I'm listening for him. Oh. Notice how he was able to learn. Sit. Good boy. So that's how we're going to help him stop jumping up. Notice that he was able to learn that when he was standing right next to the door, that was making it close. So he tried backing up, walking away. Timing here is going to be really important to help him learn that when, he, when you listen to him and you can hear his footsteps leaving, start to open the door so he knows that walking away and moving further away from the door is exactly what's helping you open, is what's helping you walk back through the door. One of the reasons he's so excited is because you're either coming home um, from being in the garage or that you're going out to get dog food, which is gonna get all dogs excited. So it makes sense that he's excited, but this is one way we can help him from jumping up at you and also so he won't you know, ever knock you down or try to overpower you. So, and it's a nice and simple way to go about it. We just have to use a little bit of patience, but he's really smart, so he'll catch on nice and quick. Okay, so this one. 